Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or if it's the first time you're looking at my channel, welcome. I do appreciate you checking out these videos. Today we are going to learn how to put metal uh, bar loops, metal ribbon loops onto uniforms. We've already uh, done videos already on how to actually make the metal ribbon bar and also how to attach the metal ribbon bar onto the uniform and the last uh, procedure now is how to do the metal loops which go above the ribbon bar so basically the metal loops are for holding the metal the group of metals on your uniform on the back of your medals you have um, a brooch on in fact I'll quickly just show you a set of medals if you've not seen any before so you can see it actually in real time so here's a set of three medals and on the back is the brooch and that pin there goes through the loops that I'm going to show you how to sew on so I just thought I'd show you the group of medals there to keep it in context for you guys so obviously the medal groups have all got different size brooches on so if you've got five medals you have a five space brooch four four space three three space two two space and one one space so that means that the medal um, loops that you put on the uniform are all going to be different widths so i.e the wider the brooch the medal group the more loops you'll have on the uniform and the wider it'll be. So in this case, we've got three ribbons on here. So this will be um, a group of three medals. So this is a brooch for three. So if you come to do this, um, just make sure you get your brooch to check when you put the loops on that you've put the loops in the right position. So what we're going to do, I'm going to chalk them on the uniform in a second, but if you can imagine the positions on the uniform, I'm going to put the loops on this pin. So they'll actually be holding the pin here in the centre and then on the end. And if you do that, then when you pin it onto the uniform, medals won't slide side to side if you put the loops in the right position and it will be a lot firmer um, on the uniform. So what you do then, you get some chalk and a ruler. You can get Taylor's chalk off the internet. You can get it on eBay or um, Amazon. So if you get a, a ruler and a bit of chalk and you just run a line along the top of the ribbons about four or five millimeters i'm just going to quickly sharpen this chalk because it's as blunt as a badger's behind so just bear with me two seconds right i'll just sharpen that chalk quickly so i'm gonna run a line along the top of the metal ribbons there and i'm gonna get my brooch and if you've got a brooch on your medals, you can still do this. You just tip your medals back. I'm going to put a loop in the centre there. Just chalk it on so I know the position to sew. And then I'm going to put the other marks at the ends of the pin on the brooch, like I showed you a minute ago, where to put them. So when you've got your loops on there, like I say, the, the metal group won't slide side to side. It'll be fixed rigid in position. So obviously, if you've got a smaller brooch, then your loops are going to be not as wide. And then as the brooches get bigger, the loops are going to spread out more and it's going to become wider. For example, if you have a four brooch or a five brooch, you can put four loops on there instead of three. But I tend to do three loops for sort of um, two space and three space two loops for one space brooches and then um, four loops for four and five space so this is a five space one 
So if I was going to put this one on here, you could even put five loops if you want, it doesn't really matter. Is I'm checking again on my pin to make sure it's in the right position, i.e. it's as wide as possible. So it doesn't move. So basically, that's where you'd put your chalk marks for a five space brooch. And I know if I sew them on now and put the pin through there, they would hardly move from side to side. Right, so that's basically about um, marking the um, uniform up for the loops. So I'm going to go on to showing you how to do the loops next. Right, OK, so we're going to go on to actually sew these metal loops now. I've just marked them on the uniform. We're going to put three loops on here. I've explained just before about if your brooch is wider, obviously you have more loops. Um, the height of the loops, I tend to probably do them slightly different every time, just by a millimetre or two. Um, but I would say you should do them about no sort of bigger than five mils. They're about five mils you could do them at four mil if you want um probably better keeping them smaller than big because if you're wearing your uniform and you ain't got your medals on you don't want them um sticking out like a, a sore thumb so so basically about four or five millimeters so right let's get cracking so you need double thickness thread for metal loops if you if you use you, really in trouble you could maybe just do single thread just to get through your one parade or but it's not very strong and it wouldn't last long so it's best doing it properly so i've got um two bits of thread i've put them together i wrap it around my finger i get a bit of beeswax again you can get beeswax off the internet uh, ebay or amazon and just pull your thread through the um wax so basically it makes the, the thread stronger and it, it's less likely to tangle when you're doing metal loops and if you haven't waxed your thread although you could probably do it you'd have to have a lot of patience because it probably would tangle a lot so i'd probably use a smaller needle um than what i've got here i've just got a medium size sharp needle Sharps are good. On previous videos, I've said the sharp needles are the best ones to use. They're very thin. Where you thread the thread through the eye, when you're pulling it through materials, it just pulls through really easy. So I'm going to put a knot on the end of this thread. So make a loop like so, forefinger and thumb, just spin the thread around the loop, pull it tight, hey presto we get a knot just that's basically an anchor so i'm just going to trim it off right so i've prepared my thread now a very important thing as well which i was going to say is obviously match the color of the thread to the uniform so um they don't stand out and they're quite sort of invisible because they're the same color like i say if you're not wearing your medals you don't want bright pink metal loops on there because they'll just stand out. Um, so if you've got a couple of pins, just pin the line in just above where you're going to sew. Just helps it keep keep it straight so it doesn't rock up like I've shown you in previous videos when I'm actually sewing the metal bar to the uniform. It just helps the lining keep nice and straight on the inside. Once you put your pins in, you can just double check that the lining's pretty straight. I need to pull that one up a bit. It just makes it smarter on the inside of the jacket, basically. Although you can't see it, I suppose it doesn't really matter, but it's just a better job. Right, so here we go then. I'm going to start on this metal loop here on the far right hand side. And what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to come up from the inside here on that position first stitch so I'm going to go in the inside and I'm going to put the needle through 
through the bottom of that chalk mark there you can see that nice close up pull it through and then luckily i put that knot on the end of the thread so it's anchored in position so it ain't going to come out and then where the cross is at the top of the chalk there i'm going to go in here give you another close-up back into the inside so pull the thread through so don't pull it too tight because if you pull it too tight when you come to do your metal loop it's hard to get your needle under the thread just bear with me a second that's it right so we've put one loop in already as in a stitch so we're going to put three of those in come back up again where you did the first time and then just pull it touch tight not too tight and then back in there i have made these a little bit bigger just so it's easier for you to see i suppose if i was doing this normally i might make these loops a tiny bit bigger so that's my third stitch on the jacket just pull it tight not too tight like i say just touch tight so i've put three stitches in so i'm going to come up a fourth time just at the bottom there and i'm going to start doing the loop stitch now so all you do is you've like formed a little bridge there you can see my needles moving up and down under the thread so it's like a bridge so all you do is put your needle under the thread like that get this thread here wrap it around the needle and then just pull it so if i hadn't have um, waxed this thread it'll all be getting tangled now but you can see it's just working really nice so that's my first knot stitch on the thread so you just repeat the process put the needle under the thread and then wrap the thread around the needle and pull it tight not too tight just touch tight and keep repeating the process and then you make a chain of you make a chain of knots that's going around those thread loops the three original thread loop stitches we put in and you can see it's starting to form already the loop so i think you probably put about seven or eight in so keep repeating the process just when you put your needle under the thread just be mindful not to um, catch the fabric of the uniform because that then all it does is catches the loop down flat to the uniform and it won't work so well so I'm coming up to the end now maybe a couple more stitches you can see that it's formed like a nice bridge there needle moves up and down that'd be like your brooch pin going through it pull it tight i'm going to put one more stitch in and that's formed the first loop i've heard these called beckett's before i don't know what you guys have heard them being called before if you got a different name for them put them in the comments down below if you've got any questions please ask fire away or any comments i'll get back to you so i'm just tying that first loop off you don't have to i just do just to keep it all nice and tight i'll just show you again you just pick a couple of millimeters of lining up wrap the thread round your needle twice and then pull it tight right so i don't know whether you've totally got that yet but let's go again on the second loop so you just move along on the bottom line and then come up just there at the bottom of the vertical pull your needle through and then at the cross go in and i'm going to put three stitches in here 
so that's my first stitch that's my second stitch when you're doing this try and keep them nice and straight vertical if you go at an angle they don't look as smart so that's three stitches doing it a little bit faster now don't pull it too tight because you'll rook the fabric up so i've put three stitches in there i'm going to come back up at the bottom and then before you start putting the knots in to form the bridge just get your needle and just put it underneath the threads like so and give it a wiggle just to make sure that it's gonna not be too tight there so my first knot don't forget you just get your thread wrap it round the needle and then you just pull it it just puts like a little knot in there go again like I say, be careful not to catch the fabric of the uniform. I've actually had a breakage. So what I'm going to do is just chop a bit of this thread off. And I can carry on and finish this loop then I might need to do another thread. Sometimes that happens. In fact, I'm sort of glad that's happened because it might happen to you, you'll know what to do. I've just chopped it off where there's still two lots of thread. I'm just gonna re-thread my needle if I can see. My eyes are a bit dodge. Oh, oh. Deary me. Go on. Right, I've done it. Right, so we're back in business. Sorry about that. But again, it just shows you what to do if your thread snaps or whatever. So I'm going to go back under again, put the thread round the needle, and then pull it tight. And it's just forming a basically a chain of knots. And it just not, makes it nice and strong, the loop. So when your medals are suspended through the... Um, loops then you know it's not gonna break because it's nice and strong back in the day i actually only put two stitches in for the loops you know the original stitching where i've put three i used to just put two in and i found that sometimes they weren't so strong so i put a third one in we was taught just to put two in but i always put three double cotton stitches in start and with my experience, I just know it's a lot stronger and it's less likely to break. So I've put all the knots in there. I've put the last stitch in and then I'm just going to pull it through to the inside. And then I'm going to actually tie this off. Oh, I don't know if I've got enough thread to do the last one. I don't know whether should I risk it. I'll, t I'll tie this off anyway and see if I've got enough thread to do the last one if not I'm gonna have to re-thread up again and wax so I'm just gonna wrap that round the needle just to tie it off I'm gonna chop it off and do you know what I'm not gonna risk it because I know what will happen I'll get to the end and I won't have enough thread and then I have to start again so just bear with me please for a couple of seconds so this is khaki coloured thread so it will match the uniform so I'm just going to wax that again can't sew without wax now I'd have a mare it tangle up all the time it break I'd have a nervous breakdown so I'm a bit addicted to using wax with the thread so just quickly thread this up I used to be able to do this very quick when I was younger my eyes are a bit dodgy now so Oh, it dropped out. There we go. Again, put a knot on the end. Just make a loop. Twist it round. Like so. Pull it tight and then you get a knot in the end. So for this case now, we're just going to put the last loop in. So come up from the bottom. Then go in vertical at the cross there. Like I say, they're about five millimetres high, these 
loops you can do them at four if you want just make sure you do the thread that matches the uniform and then you can't see them if you haven't got your medals on if you're in the mess or you know in a situation where you haven't got your medals on so basically it's just i'm just going round and in a circle with these stitches so i've put three stitches in there excellent so repeat the process again just come up at the bottom like so get your needle just make sure that it's not too tight and then your first stitch put the thread just round your needle like so and then just pull it gently and it'll form a knot and then you just repeat the process without catching the fabric which is quite hard actually you can move it up and down then you know you've not caught the fabric wrap it around the needle that's the second stitch there and keep going until you've put stitches all the way along that loop to make a nice bridge of knots like i say before if you've got any questions please don't hesitate i'll always answer questions so there's another knot so i'll just put one more in like so then go to the inside of the uniform to tie off just pick a couple of millimeters of material wrap it round twice pull it tight you can do it again if you want like so that's not going anywhere okay i'll just set up in a different position now just to show you how to think get rid of the chalk and brush it off and you can steam it right okay um we've just come into the end bit of this metal loop process now so we've got the loops on the uniform there so if you've got some chalk just get a brush eliminate the chalk the white immediately disappears i've used wax um so you can still see the wax on the loops a bit but there's a little trick we use to get rid of you can see the gray of the metal loops so we just get an iron and just steam it very carefully oops if your steam iron works yeah it's doing now so that basically just gets rid of the wax out of the thread like so so now they they're not so gray the more the same color as the uniform which is a pretty good match right just turn that iron off so take your pins out i didn't show you the inside of the jacket when i finished uh, it's pretty flat pretty neat so so there's your loops on your uniform completed so obviously to fit your medals on there i know these ribbons don't match the ribbons on the jacket but i'll just show you they just basically the pin just goes underneath the loops like so just be careful you don't catch the fabric when you're going through them go through the end one like so and then you just catch the end of the pin on the hook turn your swivel arm round and the jobs are good and so they're fixed onto the uniform with the loops and they are not going anywhere and they're nice and straight right so basically that's how to make metal loops I don't want to keep repeating myself. I could do a little recap of the main information now. So basically the loops are approximately five mil in size. You can do them at four mils. If you've got wider metal groups, i.e. this is a five space one, you could put four loops on or you could put five loops just for argument's sake, um, we put five loops 
on this one so we'd have the three loops there where they are get your brooch and just have a look and then put another loop on there so that's all you do is just put basically an extra loop on each end so if it's a four space brooch you'd put different loops on for that you could put you could put three on for four we could do four loops for it's up to you basically so that's where the ends would be for the four brooch so i think you get the gist of things like i say if you've got any questions any problems with it give us a shout just comment below i hope you've learned something with this video i hope you've liked the video please subscribe i'm trying to grow my channel i really appreciate uh, people taking time to watch the videos when i started this channel i didn't really think or know how it would go i'm really happy with the response i've had so far so uh, it motivates me to do more things to show you guys how to do tailoring jobs and things so there we go thanks again for watching so now if you look at my videos we can make a ribbon bar we can put a ribbon bar on and now we can do loops thanks ever so much for watching see you in the next one bye